Hello again, this class is Tango Awareness 11. What we're going to do in this one is to do without the embrace now all her ganchos on the three steps. What that means is uh, that without the embrace you're going to lose some balance and you're going to have to shake it up. And that's the point of this exercise. This exercise is going to show you all the mistakes you've been doing and you were solving it by grabbing each other. Okay? So relax, cool off. That's what the exercise is for. Yeah? So I want you to first to walk a little bit, right? To walk, you relax, cool. And then you start a turn, okay? <clears throat> and we're going to do the gancho on her back cross. So when you see a back cross, for example, this one, gancho, and you change directions. That's it. And a gancho, and you change directions. That's it. And a gancho, and you change directions. Yeah, that's it. Is she still standing? Yes. So good. It's a success. <clears throat> when she goes for that move, see, if you're not used to, yeah, it's tricky, you know, it's going to feel like kind of weird and blah, blah, blah. That's okay. What this exercise is going to push you to do is that when you do the gancho, you won't be able to freeze like you've been doing before. You understand? Because if you do this and you freeze, well, uh, you're going to fall because no one can grab you now. So what you learn is that dancing is moving constantly. There is no picture that you have to play. You get it? So when you do the gancho, your best bet to survive is getting in and out and respect your own body your own weight and your own balance and you can add also gravity you get it so you do the gancho in and you relax it out let me show you uh, one last time this gancho so you pull your leg in and out that's it in and out perfect that's super good this one is the easiest of the three ones. Now I'm going to show you one uh, that it's a little bit trickier, uh, but it's very good, <laughs> which is the one on the open step. So this is the turn, right? And that's an open step. And that's another open step. I'm going to keep one that is in front of you so you can see. So that's an open step. And in this open step, that's the gancho. And keep going. There you go. By the way, just to clarify, see, the, and this is for followers, is they have to move their own bodies. You understand? It's not about doing this and then waiting for, like you are used to, someone to push you out of there. Because that's not it. What you have to learn is to move your own body by yourself and stop expecting that your partner just grab you by the neck and push you around. Yeah? So let's do it one more time. So that's the open step. Boom. There you go. And you're going to feel you're falling because you are. And where you're falling is where you have to go. You know? That's the open step, and that's the open step. Whoop, that's it. If you pause, well, you're going to fall even harder. There you go. That's it. You got it. So, <clears throat> let me, I, I just, uh, to clarify something. The uh, leading, see, leading a very, very good lead. What it is, is basically taking your partner out of balance, out of visually balance. Opening a door for someone on the street, see, 
is viewable by the other and the other one can feel it because visually you are taking them out of balance. What do I mean? If she's there, let me exaggerate, and I do this to her. There you go. <laughs> Even if she's not a dancer, she feels like, like there's a hole that just appeared in front of her. So, when we lead, we are taking the other person out of balance. You get it? So as a follower, your best bet is to be sensible and fall. Because I guarantee you, where you are falling is 99% where you have to go. Right? So, if you are falling already and you are retaining, well, you know, the fall gets stronger and bigger. But if instead of retaining, you just let go, see, you won't feel as much as, uh, as, as if it was a big fall. You'll just go for it, like what you do in normal walking, yeah? So if you're falling, do it, you know, go for it. Let me show it to you, uh, this one, one last time. So that's the front cross, that's the front cross. There you go, see, now she's quicker, huh? <laughs> yeah, this exercise is the, the best master of all. Whoa, there you are, there you are, thanks. As you can see, she's adapting, you know, she, she just learns so quick, do you understand? Uh, and the only reason why she's learning so quick is because she cannot grab me. So at one point, let's say her body says, well, we better start to move and solve all these things, you know. <laughs> and uh, that's why I say that uh, this technique without embrace is one of, one of the discoveries that I made that I, and I love the most because he's been the best teacher I ever had. Uh, let me show you the last time, the last one, which is the trickiest of all, which is to do the boleo on the front cross. So here is the turn, <clears throat> that's the front cross, and that's the front cross, that's the front cross without changing legs, there you go. And that's the front cross, cancho back, there you are. That's a front cross, gancho, and back. And that's a front cross, that's a gancho, and back. And move. There you are. Front cross, gancho, and back. There you are. That's super good. So, as you can see, she's falling, and she's a dancer already, so if you are more a beginner, fall all you want and experience it. I guarantee you, you learn very, very quick. So being that said, keep the frame comfortable, happy, relaxed. See you on the next class.